The Turkey Valley Trojans are 3-0, coming off a 60-12 win over Rockford last Friday night. We're with Trojan coach Mark Scott, and coach, just kind of a workman likes a steady performance uh, for your club uh, all night long uh, last Friday night and a victory over Rockford. Is that a fair assessment? Yeah, very fair. Exactly what it was. Just execute and continue to execute and just keep moving the ball. Offensively, you were able to uh, do so very well. Uh, the only thing that stopped you was the clock running out in the second half. Uh, your running game was going well. Your passing game was going well. Uh, was that probably as much as uh, you could uh, expect to click uh, this early in the season? Yeah, actually, we, you know, everything, you know, they gave us, we kind of knew what they were going to give us, and the kids did a good job of executing what we wanted to do, and, and we just did what we did what we needed to do. And I know even in uh, late in the ball game, uh, you got your JV kids uh, in the game and uh, they seem to uh, pick up where everybody else uh, left off. How is that group in particular uh, developing uh, through a third of the way through the season? Well, I mean, they're, yeah, they're, yeah, they, they pretty much came in and did exactly what the varsity was doing. It's just, you know, move the ball four or five, six yards at a time and keep moving it and didn't have any silly penalties and, yeah, they're they're improving. They're they're going to be okay. And anything uh, from uh, last Friday night that uh, you didn't like? Uh, obviously, you like the result. You like uh, moving the football. But uh, football coaches are always uh, looking for something to improve on. Uh, was there anything from on that list from last Friday night? Well, of course, uh, our PATs need to be improved a little bit. Our we need to do a little better job of executing on our PATs and. We had a snafu on one kick return. We need to make sure we don't let a lot of happen again. But other than that, I mean, we played very, kids played very well and offensively, defensively. You know, the pass coverage was good. The pass rush was good. They stopped the run well. You know, special teams executed pretty well. And this week, you got Riceville uh, coming to town. Uh, you guys played an overtime game uh, last year in uh, week number one of the season. Uh, what do you expect out of this year's edition of the Wildcats? No, uh, they'll be coming out. They're gonna, they're gonna. They seem to be throwing the ball more this year than they have in the past. So we expect them to throw a little more. They got a bit, really big back that they utilize in the backfield sometimes. So we'll have to make sure we do a good job of tackling him and getting him on the ground. Uh, defensively, they're gonna throw different things at us. We're hoping, you know, we just have to keep, you know, talk up front and make sure we know what our jobs are. All right, Coach, uh, hopefully you can keep your winning ways uh, going. Uh, keep your kids healthy. We wish best of luck this Friday night. Thanks, Darren. The Turkey Valley Trojans and the Riceville Wildcats Friday night in Jackson Junction.